Hey, Mark. Uh, let's talk about being God. Um, I'm Ian, by the way. Good to see you. I feel like I've known you from way back, but we I haven't really talked to you a lot. Um, but I had like a, I was like I, I want to connect with a bunch of like every once in a while I get this uh, this desire to you know market just market like right now I'm working on mines and I want to market it. And I was like, so I, what I do is I go to a bunch of uh, people that comment on like a channel that I like, and I just open all those people that are commenting, all their pages, and then I send them all a message. And I was like, so what channel would I go to? And I, I was like, oh, I'll go to Mark Dice's channel, because I, I just really respect your, and respect your work and stuff. And then I was like, well, wait, if I'm going to his channel, I should watch your most recent video and then respond to you. So, fuck yeah, Ray Kurzweil is a nutball. I mean... I don't want to be too judgmental, but I think you're right about not wanting to die and the inevitable downfall of humanity. Like, when organisms are suffering, when, when they're facing extinction, they come together to form a superorganism. And that's possibly what's happening, is that humanity is going to be... And I was like, maybe if we nuked ourselves back into the Stone Age, we wouldn't accomplish that. But that's probably what would really push it to happen. Like, if, we, if there was nuclear warfare, the remaining humans would be so desperate that they would just all conglomerate into this massive mine, you know? And it would be... It would be... Basically, there would humanity would cease, and it would be this Borg-like consciousness. We can probably develop our human consciousness without doing that. But then, the same thing is, like, it's evolution. So maybe we're supposed to become the next step of consciousness. And that the human body... Because it's like... We get distracted by sex and by eating, and it's like, why? why? That stuff holds me back in a lot of ways. And maybe it's just because I'm lazy. Like, obviously, people fast, and they don't have sex, and they, they're able to have a clear conscience about being, you know. But, like, what's the point? We're consumers by nature. We consume. We're consuming the earth. So if we were able to plug into a system where we didn't need to consume anything, where all we needed to consume was sunlight to exist. Like, this is so interesting. While you were talking, I was like, oh, shit, here's an idea. They, they've created uh, circuits that function instead of electricity. They function on light. So maybe that's something that will exist. Like, well, circuitry that is light-based, so the sunlight will just power and charge and turn everything on and everything like that. And moonlight will turn everything on and everything like that. And then, you know, every once in a blue moon or whatever you want to call it, we'll all gear up for the darkness, the pitch darkness. And maybe it'll be so sensitive that there is no pitch darkness, you know. Starlight or whatever will charge us. And that will save the Earth. Um, the thing is, I, I, I want to know a better way. Like, what do you propose would be better than what Kurzweil is talking about? Because am I a transhumanist? I don't want to die. I've been thinking a lot lately about my parents dying and it's making me sad. I don't want to think about it. But like, years ago I realized either I'm going to die or everyone I know is going to die. And that's, that's life. So which path do I choose, you know? Just go the human route and die off, or do I try and stay alive and augment my DNA, uh, rebind my telomeres with fucking ruthenium injections and implants and stuff? I want to take ruthenium supplements now. It's just a hard time finding ruthenium online. It's very expensive. But you know, your DNA is not built to die. It's, that's an inevitable byproduct of consumerism, probably. Okay, so the future is humanity is forming a new organism, consciousness, being, whatever you want to call it. Because our bodies aren't melting together, but like you say with nanobots, maybe they kind of are. Like the idea of what a body is, it's just like, okay, 100 years ago, you're talking about 2099, right? 2099? 100 years ago, in, in, let's say, like, 1899 or whatever, 1909, 1912, where they have steam power, uh, they they didn't really have electric... They, they didn't really have, like, 
Yeah, they, they had some electricity. I mean, the electricity has been on and off throughout the ages. You know, the Egyptians had battery power. You know, put vinegar and copper wiring around a pipe, and you get an electric charge. Um, but it was like they didn't have computers. I don't even think that some. I don't even think like the, the deepest, darkest thinkers of the time had conceptualized. No, you know, probably people had conceptualized like machines that were like men. But even back, who knows how long ago. But the internet, like I don't think anyone had even like vaguely considered that there was going to be something like an internet, like a vast array of consciousness web of electricity that binds the human race or whatever. So maybe something will happen that will make it so that what Kurzweil is talking about doesn't happen. Um, but like what I mean with the technology as it is like what else could happen a lot of things could happen some people could blast off into space and not evolve that way and the board or some people could blast off into space and then evolve that way you're gonna have like humans that are like that and humans that aren't like that and there'll be a big fucking power struggle and it'll be like can we disarm the consciousness all you gotta do is pull the fucking plug and all these people's implants will go out and then they'll all be like, ah, uh, and all the people that don't have implants will be like, we own you, or they'll be like, you know, welcome to humanity. Um, but humanity is so destructive, so, you know, I don't think humanity has ever existed in a non-destructive state as a whole, has it? So maybe... two thousand ninety nine, dude, is fucking crazy. I think mean, 2029... You know, that, that made sense. 2019, that's, you know, that's cool. Uh, you know, implants, I like the idea of contact lenses that you see, like, Google Maps in front of you. I mean, with you're going to be able to, like, see through walls and shit and see who needs a job. There'll be, like, a green dot over their head if they need a job, and blue dot if they're retired. That's what my buddy Bryce is talking about. Um, that kind of excites me, but then at the same time, it freaks me the fuck out, because if you're plugged in to the Internet, you're being tracked all the time. And if, and if it's, like... That's the danger of plugging into a, an internet all the time. You're, you're in it. You, you are it. And it is you. It's like, where's the dissemination between the gross and the mass? Like, I know that excites some people because they're fucking lazy. Like, you got to take control of your own life. Maybe that's the, the viral human in me that, that says that. You know, thinks that. You know. Maybe we're supposed to just fucking organize into a, a globe, a globule, consciousness, globule. There is no supposed to, except I keep thinking of the paramecium, you know, the, the multicellular organism that forms into a paramecium that crawls, that explodes into spore, that lifts up when there's no more oxygen on that level to get away. It's like, I mean, I mean, it, this is a conversation to have around a campfire, smoking pot, or eating acid, or with a totally clear mind. Just this is this is not something any one person can figure out. I think, but we can all toss ideas. But the internet's a good place to do that too. We don't have a campfire, so let it be virtual. See you later.